Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where I make your life easier, one video at a time. In today's video, I'm sharing tips for getting physically, spiritually, and financially fit. I'm not a personal trainer, a pastor, or a financial advisor. However, I choose to take care of myself, study the Bible, and manage my money wisely. Thus, I want to share how I'm doing it, and if you would prefer to see this video in a blog post version, I will leave the link in the description box. All right, let's jump right in. Exercising is more enjoyable when you stop focusing on aesthetics. I used to think that the only way to get fit is by lifting weights. I thought men needed to obtain a muscular figure to be considered healthy. After watching Ultimate Tag, a game show focused on agility and strength, I've learned that you don't need to look like a bodybuilder or a fitness model to win that $10,000 grand prize. Thus, I stopped worrying about aesthetics and started working out for fun. Although I enjoy lifting weights, when the gyms closed due to coronavirus, I found other ways to enjoy working out at home. I walk in my backyard for 30 minutes. It's an easy and enjoyable workout, especially when I'm listening to music. My mother asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I told her a bicycle. My brother and I found a mountain bike for $100 on OfferUp. My little niece also bought a bike with her birthday money, so her and I like to go on bike rides around the neighborhood. After finishing Ultimate Tag, I felt inspired to do cardio. Thus, I bought myself a jump rope from Walmart and I jumped for about 15 minutes. I set the timer, turn up the music, and jump. Because jump roping is more intense than walking, I have to take breaks after jumping every two minutes. When I can't keep going, I stop the timer, rest for a minute, and then I get back to it until the 15 minutes are up. As I keep practicing, I will get better, so when I'm ready, I can increase the minutes to 20 or 30 minutes. I feel less motivated about full body home workouts, but I do popular exercises such as push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and burpees. However, the gyms opened this month, so I don't really have to rely on home full body workouts. My little sister and I can go to the gym whenever we can. I exercise because it's fun and it's good for you. I don't overcomplicate it. And for diet, I eat whatever I want. If my mom is making tacos, spaghetti, or enchiladas, why would I turn that down? I know how to balance healthy and unhealthy foods. Plus, I work out every week, so I'm not worried about dieting. I drink a lot of water, I hardly consume sugary drinks, plus I barely snack. In our household, we usually have our traditional meals of the day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So because those meals fill me up, I don't feel the need to, to snack. Let's move on to spirituality. If we allow it, we can spend hours consuming content that isn't right for us. I'm talking about media that includes what God hates, such as violence, drunkenness, and sexual immorality. It can be challenging not to consume content that is damaging our well-being because it's everywhere. However, it is possible you can take control of what you're consuming. I've learned that if we want to feel happy and optimistic, we have to consume positive content. So here's what I'm doing. Music. Now I listen to uplifting music. Praise and worship, top Christian, pop, electronic, clean versions of today's hits, and lo-fi and hip-hop. Movies. I changed the viewing restrictions on my Netflix account. Netflix can now only show me titles rated TV 14 and below. There are still thousands of titles to choose from. For instance, I'm currently watching Sister Sister and Pokemon. I've also seen inspirational Christian movies and the Gospel of Mark and Matthew on Netflix. Bible study. Getting closer to God is as simple as opening up my NIV Bible and reading random scriptures. I also read Jehovah Witnesses, books and articles. Plus, I watch videos on YouTube where creators discuss the Bible and share their testimonies. Pause. If you are finding this video helpful so far, please make sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful videos. All right, let's keep on going. I follow Christian pages on social media like Grow in Faith, Grow in Christ, Insta Church Live, and Changed Movement. I myself now create picture quotes implementing what I've learned in independent Bible studies. Don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I find myself watching videos or movies or 
listening to songs that would probably displease God. However, I'm thankful that I now watch and listen to them in moderation. I'm also thankful I made this shift because I find myself no longer cursing and talking dirty. Let's talk about money. The one financial tip that saves me from financial worry is saving money. If I would have not chosen to save money in college, I would have not been able to pursue content creation full-time post-college. I would have had to take on a traditional job because I do have bills. Luckily, my statements aren't too intense. However, a source of income or savings is required to meet those monthly payments. Saving money has also helped my mom who works full time. We thank God that we have enough money for groceries and to cover emergencies. What's the point of earning thousands of dollars each year, but having no financial cushion? Thus, no matter your income, saving for emergencies can keep you away from financial headaches. Another reason I'm financially fit is that I don't buy stuff that adds no value. Because I'm a solopreneur, a business owner who operates their brand independently, I don't have extra money to splurge on clothes, Apple products, or new video games, which is fine. When I attended college and worked part-time, I made sure to buy everything I needed to run my business successfully. If I get a job in the future, then I can splurge, but right now, I have to discipline myself and only buy necessities. Lastly, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm financially fit because I don't pay rent. I don't earn enough money to do so and I'm not ashamed. My mother knows when I'm making money moves, I help out. However, because I'm creating content on YouTube and on the blog full time, I can't. I help her in other ways. For instance, I help her cook, clean, I drive her where she needs to go and accompany her when she's running errands. And because I'm productive, I always have time for others. Productive people always have time for others. Busy people never do. There you have it. That's how I stay physically, spiritually, and financially fit. If you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like it and do so because it'll go in your liked videos playlist. So one day, if you ever forget these tips, you can come back to this video and review. Comment down below if you have any questions or tips to add and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I make your life easier one video at a time and you should be taking advantage of it. Until next time, see y'all later.